Hello, my name is Peter Georgiatos. I'm the Assistant Principal of Social Studies, Music, and the Naval Sciences. I really want to thank you for taking your time uh, to come in and uh, view our presentation. So um, out of the Social Studies Department, we have the Political Theory, Ethics, and Law Institute. It's a four-year program, and we're very, very, very proud of it. Um, so I'm just going to give you a synopsis of everything that we do. So the Political Theory, Ethics, and Law Institute is what's considered an ed-op program. What that means is students choose the program, and we also choose students. And if we both agree, they come into the program. But if we don't choose the student, the student still has the opportunity to get into the program via the DOE. Everything is done by a rubric and where grades and attendance and other um, other uh, factors are um, evaluated. That all is available, the rubrics available on the Department of Education website under Cardozo High School. So the ed -op, our ed -op program, the Political Theory, Ethics and Law program is the most popular program in the school. Over 3,500 students apply for 170 seats. So how do, what does it look like? So when a student comes to our school, they take four years of social studies as required by New York State and along with that, they get their four years of law um, electives. So the way it starts is freshman year, every student comes into our pre-AP classes. So while they're doing that, they're, take, they're taking their introduction to political theory, ethics, and law class one in the fall, and introduction to political theories and ethics and law uh, two in the, in the spring. So in that class, they learn about Western civilization, seminal documents and the creation of law and how we operate in this country and in the West. In comes sophomore year, that's where they take their global studies three and four classes. Um, uh, they have a choice of uh, AP classes. And for the law program, they do introduction to Homeland Security and Emergency Management one in the fall and introduction to Homeland Security and Emergency Management two in the spring. Uh, the interesting thing about this class is by the end of sophomore year, students will be FEMA certified. You will learn the inner, inner workings of both the um, Office of Homeland Security as well as the Office of Emergency Management, and you will be FEMA certified, which is we are one of the very few in the city that do that. I think another school, from what I know, um, has done that as well. Um, so it's a very amazing opportunity. In comes 11th grade, where you take your U.S. history, whether you take AP or so forth. And we have criminal justice one in the spring and criminal justice two in the fall. Um, in this, you learn about the inner workings of the criminal justice system uh, on the federal and local level. And you learn about uh, Supreme Court cases and how they've influenced law and so forth. Um, then it comes 12th grade, where you will do constitutional law in the spring in the fall and in the spring you have to complete an internship of 80 hours in a law related office or facility so we set you up with that we give you direction where to go and so forth you can find your own um the person in charge of that is mrs Ferrazza. so there's a lot of opportunities that you can actually we offer for internship hours and then outside so what are some of the things um in comes um freshman year right and you can um, join the mock trial team. Um, in the mock trial team, you get to join the team and where law cases, uh, we uh, present law cases as lawyers, as witnesses, and you go against other schools. That counts for, um, that counts for uh, internship hours. We also have something called the Explore Program. Here's a picture of um, some of our explorers from last year. So with the Explore Program, um, you meet, um, and then you actually, we have competitions where we go against other schools, you know, how to deal with uh, an active shooter, how to the situation, how to deal with a triage where there was uh, some kind of attack and you have to help care people with first aid and you have to set up a, a scene, a crime scene and a triage, emergency triage scene. So it's an amazing opportunity for internship hours through these two options. And obviously there's other options. For example, um, Miss Hill over here uh, completed her hours under the the Queens Bar Association, where she went into the um, 
the courthouse and so forth. Um, we also had Miss Amaya, who was part of the uh, Spanish caucus, Latino and Spanish caucus. She actually went to Washington, D.C. because she was interested in politics and law. So she was able to grab that opportunity. And we do a lot of amazing things. Sorry for going back. For example, um, our uh, our explorers, as well as uh, our um, our Navy program, visits the VA hospital with Assemblyman Bronstein. We want to give back to the community, which is very, very important to us. Uh, so we hand out gifts to our soldiers during Christmas and Valentine's time. So, you know, these are just some things that we do. And the other things that I really think that separates us from every other school, we're history people. We want to offer you a living history. Um, so this is myself and my son. Years and years ago, the gentleman over there is Martin Luther King's son. He came and visited our school. So, you know, as time goes along, these great living uh, historical people are passing because of age and other things. So it's very important that we keep this living history going. Um, there it is. There's my son again. Now, this is years ago. Um, we're here with uh, Harry S. Truman's grandson. Harry Truman was the president that made the decision to drop the atomic bomb on Hiroshima and Nagasaki to end World War II. So we had his grandson come in. And to my other side is a survivor of the Nagasaki bombs. Um, we wanted both sides of the history to be, um, to be shared out with our students because at the end of the day, our goal is not to make you robots, but to make you critical thinkers. Over here, we have Ms. Gross who uh, was a Holocaust survivor and actually led the lawsuit against Volkswagen for employing Jewish slave labor. Um, there was no dry eye in the house that day, but you know, this is the history, the living history that we give to you in Cardozo. And last but not least, one of the things that I'm most proud of is our Civil War reenactment that we do every year for our juniors. During the time when we are doing the Civil War in the class, Dr. Peter Riddow and Mr. Stanton Mitrano do a Civil War encampment. We have them dressed in uniforms of both the Confederates as well as the Union. We have tents. They cook food that the soldiers ate, and they explain life during the Civil War. This is something that no other school does that separates us because we are all about living history. And another reason why you should choose this is because we are ranked for the last decade one of the top 100 schools in teaching financial literacy. Um, you will have every student in the Cardozo will take a financial literacy course during senior year and you will learn how to open up a bank account, how to be responsible consumers with credit cards, take out bank loans, school loans, et cetera. This is something that's amazing and hands-on. And to end it all, it does take a village to raise a child. And I know our motto, um, you know, um, a school with a heart, it's a fact. Why? Because you are not only our students, you are, you are like our kids. And just to let you know, I am a father of four, and I'm very proud of that. And the, and the little guy that you kept seeing who cut school, I apologize about that, to meet Martin Luther King's son and to meet Harry S. Truman's grandson was my son, Peter. And look at him right now. He is a junior in high school. He uh, amazing athlete, student, and a, and a great man. Um, then we have Ophelia, my daughter. Uh, amazing heart of gold. It's my Ophelia. I love with all my heart. And she tells me her best friend's her little brother, Roman. This is Roman. Roman wants to grow up and be a soldier, he tells me, and a dad. But then he also tells me he's Mickey Mouse. He's a great kid. And last but not least is my Maggie. She just turned one, my Magnolia. Such a, such a smile every time I see her. I love her with all my heart. And just to let you know, um, at the end of the day, um, choose, choose Cardozo for very, for a lot of reasons, but our law program is amazing. Our living history is amazing. And we are a school with a heart. Thank you.